Good afternoon, my name is Rick Ballow with PowerTest. Today for a presentation for you, I'd like to uh, show you our fully containerized dyno system. This is a 600 horsepower version of the system. We've also, we have this in different models available up to 2000 horsepower. Why is that important? Number one, for the military, these systems are used for, typically it could be forward operating bases. Uh, any location where they may have to drop a dyno in to a maintenance facility, uh, or they have no access to water or power. Uh, it's a very good application for that. Let's step forward and we'll take a look at some of the items inside of the test stand. Located in the, in the rear of the test cell, which would normally be the, where the front of the engine is, is the cooling columns. On, the, on uh, your uh, left hand side is the engine cooling column for the jacket water. Uh, all of the connections are cam locks. So you can easily connect and, and, and disconnect from the engine, uh, inlet and outlet water ports. And over on your right, uh, or my left, is the after cooler cooling column. An added benefit that we can add that this dyno doesn't have is charge air cooling simulation. In other words, if you have an intercooler on your engine and you require uh, uh, air treatment to drop the temperature of the air before it gets into the uh, uh, engine, uh, we can include a, a charge air cooler simulator also. Uh, right now what you're looking at is the inside of the main container system. This is where the engine would normally be placed in this area. You'll see some footage of that. Uh, drive shaft system, the dyno, uh, our data acquisition system mounted over on the side. Down below mounted on the sub base of the dyno is a winch system. This is designed to pull the engine and the engine cart into the test cell. So typically there's ramps that leading into the test cell itself. Uh, I, once the cable is connected to the engine and engine cart, that can be pulled in and locked into place on the uh, retainers located at the bottom. As you can see, back in this corner is the uh, fuel inlet and return system, which goes back to the day tank. Directly below that is uh, uh, an air system. So you do have the ability with the integrated compressor to use air tools, uh, blow guns, etc., as required. That's all included in the system. Wired for 110 uh, single phase VAC. Uh, this system has its own integrated lights that are mounted up above, uh, all shock proof. Uh, we've got a built in circuit breaker panel for anything that is uh, wired inside of the system. So it's, uh, everything is protected. But right now, let's go take a look at the control room. Let's walk on up and now we're into the uh, instrumentation end of the dyno. On the back of the system is the control room. Uh, what's located here is the computer system, a window that allows you to have access into the dyno. You can watch what's going on with the test system. Uh, everything is self-contained. This is a climate controlled environment, so the operator is working in air an in air conditioned environment. This is the second container in the system. This system, uh, this container uh, uh, contains the cooling towers. In this case, there's two of these that give us the capacity uh, to test up to 600 horsepower engines. It also includes a uh, plate and frame heat exchanger. So if there's a situation where you want to run antifreeze, we can separate the antifreeze for the uh, test from the cooling tower system and also an air compressor located on board. As I said, this is a, a fully self-contained system. We've got a Kohler generator on board uh, uh, to power the entire system. This will take care of all the pump requirements, all of the fan requirements, data acquisition, etc. This is truly self-contained. All of this will pack back up neatly inside of the containers for easy transport to the next location as required.